Hi, today I have another population genetics video for you and today I have two multiply choice questions so you may stop video here uh, read the questions choose your answer and then run video again and uh, compare your answers with my answers and explanations so here is the first question in a certain population disruptive selection is occurring in this population which is most likely to survive and answer A, organism with average traits, answer B, organism with extreme traits, answer C, organism that uh, sexually select, D, organism that are small. And the correct answer would be B, and uh, this is going to be organism with extreme traits, and consider such graph like this. For example, this can be a graph for the uh, tallness of the plant and after uh, say some environmental influences we would have a new graph that would look like this so as you see we selected here for the extremes and if uh, this graph uh, about the average uh, spread of the um, this quantity of trade from the uh, shortest plants to the tallest plants here with prevailing uh, some intermediate plants but uh, in new graph we would see that uh, here would be prevailing short plants and very tall plants and we are going to lose all this uh, average tallness plant and also they are going to be a little shift and this is one of the way how speciation occurs uh, in nature and here is the second question. This picture illustrates what type of the selection. And here you see the picture. And once again, this old population and this is new population. And answer A, sexual. Answer B, disruptive. Answer C, directional. And answer D, stabilizing. And sexual actually... Uh, we cannot graph uh, with uh, graph uh, like uh, here on the right because this is just uh, when uh, some uh, mates occurs not randomly but there are some preferences for example some uh, representative of the group can be uh, more uh, sex sexually uh, attractive for mating so such uh, animals uh, would uh, uh, mate more frequently and uh, would have more offspring and this would affect uh, the group on the whole so the uh, genotype and the allele frequencies would uh, shift uh, so we have uh, to cross out this answer and disruptive we already explained it in the first question so we can cross out this answer also and directional is um, situation when we have uh, graphs that look something like this once again if this is going to be graph uh, of the tallness of the plant and the uh, certain influences uh, of the environment we may have a genetic uh, shift that might look something like this so you see here uh, plants would be taller and uh, on the average and we would have uh, less uh, plants that is smaller and uh, here would be mean of the first generation and here would be mean of the consecutive generation so this is uh, doesn't mean that this is F1 generation usually it takes much longer maybe 10 or 20 generation but here we would see um, directional uh, shift so this is also not our graph so we can cross out this answer and we left only with answer D that is stabilizing and this is exactly what we see here so uh, we lose these extremes because uh, these genotypes would be less adapted this, than those genotypes that is would be intermediate and these genotypes would be overrepresented 
because they would be better adapted for the environment. So, correct answer here, D. Thank you for your attention, that's all for today. Thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe for my channel. I post new videos almost every day. Goodbye.